regatta consists of seven races altogether. Uh, has somebody questions? After the skipper's meeting is over, everyone will be ready for the start. Race one proves what everybody expected. Zieger, the genial German first. Carlsen, the cute Swede, well he must settle for second best. For the current champion Sherry, the first race was not too good. He finished way down in 10th position. He beat me and I just tried to jibe early and jibe back and he beat me on the, on the line. Tried to trim my boat a little bit harder to get more pointing. Not a very good race there, it's a little disappointing. Yep, but I'm ready for the next one there. And we might race next, so I have to go check my finish. Thank Second race ends with a better result for Sherry. He finishes first, Ziga is third, and Carlson is a surprising fifth. And so day one ends, and the outcome of this titanic struggle leaves us still wondering who will wear the crown of the Ice Sailing Champion of Europe 2003. Race day two and the wind is fierce. Racing would be extremely dangerous in these conditions, so the judges decide to postpone the start. Some of the competitors use this delay to trim their boats, and after a few hours, the wind drops sufficiently enough for the judges to order the start. Quarter to three. And group A. Group A. A, please. Don't need start. Quarter to. 2.45. 2.45. A, please.
As you see, the judges were absolutely right about the dangers of such winds. The race ends quite unexpectedly for a lot of the sailors. Tomorrow I will sail again, of course. It's not a problem. The first race ends with Carlsen, the cute Swede, coming first, Ziga, the genial German, second, and Sherry, the current European champion, third. Second race of the day ends with the same results. Carlsen first, Ziga second, and Sherry third. Looks like the hero of the day is local favourite Thomas Carlsen. Good, two first places today. It was just two races because of uh, too much win on the on the before lunch, and we postponed the races. And the wind was coming down a bit, and we had uh, just under 10 meters. So it's okay, I did what I should supposed to do. And uh, we have to see tomorrow if it's still win. Today, Bernd Zieger, the genial German, had to settle for second place twice. Um, matter of fact is, uh, Thomas is always a little stronger when the wind is really strong. Um, when the wind is going down, I have a little bit more advantage. So it's hard to say, but it's, uh, we will see. <laughs> Hey, Defending champion Ron Sherry is struggling down in third place. Uh, a couple of thirds. Not bad. Carlson, that's really Carlson stuff. And Lindgren when he's healthy. But away we go. Away we go. I made a couple little mistakes, but I really wasn't fast enough to win. So, that's the way it goes. Judgment Day. Today there are three races and the championship will be decided. The wind is up and so is the mood of our fearless threesome. As it turns out, there are two competitors now left to compete for the top prize, Carlson and Ziga. The results from today will decide it all. We can only guess what kind of pressure these two are under. A dramatic incident happens right at the start and lands one Dutch competitor in hospital, reminding us all just how dangerous this sport can be. Luckily, this time, the Flying Dutchman was released after just a bit of treatment. The result of the last two races has brought this year's championships to this crucial 